Hello everybody, welcome to Cash Kicks TV. Today we got a new video for you guys and it is a comparison video. One that I'm very happy to do because it's on my favorite two numbers, one being the Jordan 4 and one being the Jordan 1. We're gonna do a deep dive into these shoes, talk about the differences between them and I'm gonna let you guys know not only which one I like better, but also which one I feel you guys should go and buy first. So let's get into it right now. All right, you guys, so the Jordan 4 Red Thunder versus the Jordan 1 Patent Bread. If you guys notice, I had to switch to the left pair because on the right pair, it has that Jordan chain and that clicking noise was just driving me nuts. But the first subject we're gonna talk about on these shoes is gonna be the colorway because I think it's gonna be the quickest subject between what we wanna talk about on this shoe. And that is because these are both pretty much red and black shoes, which is a lot of people's favorite because it's the easiest to rock when you have a, a black shoe mixed with a little bit of red. It's pretty much really easy to match with. So that's why a lot of people prefer these type of colorways, including myself. This was a very good job they did on the Red Thunder, to be honest. I really do love this shoe. I love the way they meshed everything like they always do on a four. There's a reason why this is my favorite number, favorite silhouette. It's just because the way it's just put together is just, it's unmatched. And for the Jordan 1, we got a bread colorway. Probably the best colorway for a Jordan 1. So, you know we can't go wrong there. When it comes to colorway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a tie. I know this is a bread, so much people probably would prefer this. But colorway wise, they're going to be one of the top in its, each, in its own class. So we're going to tie it on the colorway. Let's go into what we're hearing a lot more problems with, mainly this shoe, which is the quality, right? So we're seeing a lot of complaints on the Jordan 4 Red Thunder on the quality control. I'm gonna let you guys know right now, a lot of the pictures I've seen, I'm not dealing with that at all for my pair. I looked and there's absolutely, you guys can see, no flaws on my pair that I got. Doesn't mean yours might not be, but I'm just saying mine. I did not find any flaws with this one whatsoever at all. Um, going into the patent bread, guys, this shoe is just flawless when it comes to quality. Like, there's nothing they could have done any better. I really hope it comes out in the royal colorway because you guys know I'm not really a royal guy uh, colorway wise. But I will be copying those right away if they do. Because it will pretty much be the same thing as this. In blue and black. And they did a good job on the shoe man quality. I give this like a 9.5 out of 10. And even though I didn't find any flaws on mine. And for this shoe. The quality is just not better than the Jordan 1 patent bread. That's for sure. That's pretty obvious. So I have to give you know this one a higher. This, this is definitely a higher standard. But this is still okay. I'll give this about 8. Eight and a half out of ten. That actually brings me to my next point. There's rumors going on that this shoe and also this one will be releasing again February 22nd. I think that's mainly because they did not do the greatest job with this shoe on all pairs. So we've seen the flaws. So we're basically going to probably get a corrected version of this sneaker, which is why it's probably dropping again. This one, not that many pairs came out. So that's probably why they're going to give people a second chance. But to me, it's just a second chance to lose. If you really want these sneakers, you got to have a really good plug or just pay the resale. There's no point in, you know, sweating it out, hoping that you get selected and then you got to go resell anyways. So for me personally, I just went and got them. I don't care if they're restocking or not. I just know that's another L going to come. Let's go into the pricing and where the resale is at for these shoes. Speaking of that. So the Red Thunder, this shoe has really dropped in price. I remember seeing this in the fives in GOAT. We are now almost hitting under the fours of my size, size 11. You can take a look if you guys want, it's dropping. And that probably has something to do with all the complaints they're getting on the quality. So you're gonna see the value in that shoe drop. Honestly, I think you're gonna continue to see that drop because it is dropping again, so. Why would people 
some people can't afford to pay the, the resale, right? So knowing that it's going to drop again, they're definitely not going to pay it now. They're going to wait, take their chances. Maybe after it drops again, you might see a slight increase, but I don't think we see this shoe in the fives again. I think people are kind of over them and you're probably going to see them stay around that 410 to 430 range for the next little while. As far as these, these also surprisingly dropped in price. Maybe it's because they're supposed to drop again. I'm not too sure why, to be honest. It's cheaper than what I paid when I first got them. Maybe I should have waited. I knew I should have waited. I knew it would drop a bit, but not like this. It did slightly go up a little bit the last few days. I do keep my eye on these prices. I don't know why, because it actually just brings pain. It, I like to see that it went up and I was smart to get it right away, but not the case for these. If I waited, I would have saved a good 50 to $70. But, you know, still happy I was able to get this in my collection, of course. But as of right now, this is doing a, a little bit better when it comes to resale pricing. That is GOAT though, so you gotta remember with duty fees, these shoes are a little bit more expensive than that. But if you had a reseller that was selling these, or selling these, I would expect a couple, 100 to $150 price difference in the two. They're definitely gonna sell these for more. So I'm gonna have to give this one the edge on what's valuable, what's more valuable right now. Those are pretty much the main things that I wanted to compare in for these two shoes. Um, like I told you guys, I'm gonna tell you guys what I think you should buy now. When it comes to what you guys should buy now, I'm definitely gonna go with the Jordan 1 patent bread, just because I know these have a way higher chance of going up. And when they start going up, they're gonna continue to go up. Guys, this is a patent bread, not something we get every day. So when these are, you know, dropped, the release date of these are, are, are a couple of months ahead of that, you're gonna see the value of these go up more and more and more. These, honestly, a good pickup, but kind of, a, I'm not sure if they were considered a GR, but I'm kind of considering them a GR, a general release, especially with they dropping again. I think people are gonna get over these pretty fast and you're gonna see the price stick to that same price for a while. I don't see any reason why this should be, you know, five, $600. Do still love it, it's a good colorway, but if you're able to get it for retail, it's a big W for you. If you have to pay resale for me, it's gonna be one of those shoes where you're kind of like, was it worth that price tag that I paid? So definitely gonna go with, if you have to choose one now, definitely go with the Jordan 1 patent bread. And as far as which one I think is better, it's kind of obvious which one I prefer. Again, it is the Jordan 1 patent bread. Guys, they gave us a bread colorway in patent. I don't know how many times I gotta say that, but there's no topping that. This, this easily could have been the sneaker of the year. Probably was for some people. A lot of people are waiting for this for a very long time. I am one of them. I was able to secure them. But I'm definitely taking these out of 10. I'll give these about a nine total for here. I'll give them about an eight. So it's a, you know, it's ahead of this shoe for sure, but definitely two dope shoes to have in your collection. That's pretty much it I wanted to talk about today. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave this video with a like. Make sure you hit the notification bell because we love doing these comparison videos. So if you enjoy watching them, you're gonna see a lot more on this channel. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a good day. I'm Cash Kicks TV, and we up. What do you do? Uh, sauce up on you too. Uh, you know I'm dripping, baby, and you dripping too. Uh, I know you love me, baby, and I love you too. Uh, I know you love me, baby, and I love you too.